for the day and Earthquake with a magnitude 7.1 happened in Sydney. Many residents have been affected and 98 persons died. According to Peoples, this is one of the most powerful earthquakes that happened in the Philippines. So let's hear some news from Elon live in Sydney. Throughout the city, inside the business and streets, the massive earthquake shocked this town just today. Many families lost their loved ones, and also many residents tonight are sleeping on sidewalks after dozens of homes and properties were severely damaged and destroyed. The government said that the main reason why there are many total of deaths is just because. The residents tonight here are not ready in this type of calamity. Can you please share to us what has happened when you feel that there is an earthquake? I'm totally shocked. We don't know what to do. So we just run and a lot of people panic and scared. Also us. Literally, we are not prepared in this type of calamity. Do the government in your city prepared in this calamity, just like requiring schools and offices to do earthquake drills? No, sir. What was happened, sir? My house totally destroyed. Now we don't know where to sleep tonight. Miss Kim, as you can see, most of the people here in Cebu are not ready in this type of calamity. Did the students do something to help in this calamity? Yes, Miss Kim. I am about to say it. Despite of the calamity that they are facing, some students have their barangay how to cope with the disaster that happened to their lives. Despite of help, they also encourage people in Cebu to pursue life even they are in the middle of calamity. Also, they arrange meeting and they help people to be safe in every type of calamity. Here's a photo of a student who posted in social media. Now that the sense and earthquake is occurring, now it is very strong. We need to be safe, guys. We need to be safe, guys. Do not panic, okay? Do not panic. Guys, you need to do these things to keep you safe, okay? If you are inside, stay there. Get under a desk or table and hound it or move into a hallway or against an inside wall. If you are outside, get into an open area away from buildings, power lines, chimneys, and anything else that might fall on you. If you guys do these things, you will be safe, okay? And of course, guys, we need to pray. Always pray because our Lord is here with us. We are together and fight together. I will pray for all of us. O oh God, who set the earth on its firm foundation, spare those who are fearful and show favor to those who employ you so that this danger of earthquake entirely gone, we may continue to experience your mercy. Please keep our families safe from the danger of earthquake. Let us always feel the presence of your love. May we be secure in your protection and serve you with thankfulness and grateful hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Keep safe everyone. God. And here also is a picture of a student who also posted a video on social media. Hello guys. Today we are facing this very strong earthquake. I just want to tell all of you guys that don't panic and just pray. Our Lord Jesus Christ is here and he will not be taken off. Mm, don't panic and do this. Find a hard table and duck over there and just wait until the earthquake stops. If you're outside, stay away from the building as far as you can. As you can see, they use social media to help people to encourage people to not give up and continue fighting until this calamity ends. The BDRM and PCR are cooperating. The government of the Philippines also supplies necessities for the residents that have been affected during an earthquake. The PCR also implemented rules on how to be safety during and after an earthquake. Mr. Conception will share to us what are the important things to do during and after an earthquake. Mr. Conception. Earthquakes happen in any time without any noise. Being prepared in earthquake will make a difference in able to protect yourself, your family, or your home in the event of earthquake. Preparing for an earthquake. Pick safe places in every room of your home, working environment, and school. 
A safe place could be under a piece of household furniture or against a wall far from windows, cabinets, or tall furniture that could fall on you. Rehearse, drop, cover, and hang on in every sheltered place. Keep an electric lamp and durable shoes near every individual's bed should an earthquake strike in the middle of the night. Ensure your house is secure in its foundation. Be mindful of earthquakes and fire evacuation plans for all the establishments you stay in regularly. And here are some tips on what to do during an earthquake. Do the duck, cover, and hold. If you are in bed, stay there, curl up, and hold on, and cover your head. Take cover on a sturdy table or strongly supported doorway, or keep head cover with a solid structure. Watch out for falling objects, keep calm, and don't panic. Stay indoors until the shaking stops and you are sure it is safe to exit. If you are outside, find a clear spot and drop to the ground. Stay there until the shaking stops. Try to get as far away from buildings, power lines, trees, and street lights as possible. What to do after an earthquake? Check yourself for injuries and get first aid if necessary before helping injured or trapped persons. After an earthquake, the disaster may continue. Expect and prepare for potential aftershocks, landslide, or even a tsunami if you live on a coast. Each time you feel an aftershock, Drop, cover, and hold on. Aftershocks frequently occur minutes, days, weeks, or even months following an earthquake. Look for and extinguish small fires. Fire is the most common hazard after an earthquake. That's all for today. This is Anna Paul Valentino, your reporter. Back to you, Miss Kim. We all hope that the residents in Cebu are safe for now and we will pray for the recovery of the residents in Cebu and also the city. And that's all the news for today. I'm Kim Nunez. Have a good day. We should always remember that being prepared in earthquake will make a difference in being able to protect yourself.